Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be looking at replacing a belt weather stripping, uh, which is the, the seal that goes on the outside here. And if you notice on the window, only part of it is getting rubbed, it's getting sealed and pressed on, and the other half is not. If you have this issue, your belt weather stripping, your outer belt weather stripping might be bad, which is the seal right on the outside here of the car and today I'm gonna go over how to replace that so to start us off I'm gonna go over and show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the new belt weather stripping versus the old belt weather stripping so with the new one it's clean it's straight as an arrow and it all around looks better and it should seal better the old one here is real gunky uh, it's pretty dirty but the most which that doesn't really matter that much but the part that does matter is that it is bowed, it's not straight. So that will cause improper sealing on the window and you might have water leaking into the cabin. Uh, I had water leaking into my cabin for probably uh, ever since I bought the car, about two years and I've been trying to track down the issue and I think this is it. Um, it also ruined my door speakers. So when I would play loud music, the, the cones on the speakers would just shred themselves apart and it would blow them out. I went through, uh, I'm on my second set now of speakers that I've put in and because I was trying to find where the water was coming from. Well, I do believe this is it. So to start us off, we're gonna make sure that our window is rolled down and that we have a screwdriver on hand. Now we're also gonna need a, I believe, I believe that is a 10 millimeter end. It's either a 10 or an eight millimeter. I don't know exactly. All right, now that we have our window rolled down and we have our uh, bolt driver ready, mine's just, I just took out the bit and this is actually the right size. I'm gonna pop this out, this little corner piece here. Uh, this is just the tweeter speaker. Uh, it, has, it might have a Bose logo on it if you have the Bose system. Uh, so now I'm going to, what we're gonna do is detach the power mirror. And what we're gonna do is we're going to unbolt these three screws right here. I mean, really they're kind of bolts, but they're very coarse threads, so I'm gonna call them screws. Um, and we're just gonna loosen that up. And we're just gonna set them to the side here on my floor mat. Now the manual does say that you need to remove this door panel, but you really don't because um, all the screws here are accessible. And I just did the other side, so I know. Now this is the only screw that's only slightly inaccessible, but we can just bend down just a little bit, as long as you don't mind the rubbing. We're just gonna pop that. We might be able to just screw it out the rest by hand. And no, we cannot, so I'm gonna keep going with this bolt driver. Um, you could also just use a little uh, ratcheting wrench here if you wanted, um, because it is a hex head. And I just dropped it. I'm going to put it right down there in a safe place. Now, from here, this should pop out. And you have to do it at a little bit of an angle in order to get it to pop out smoothly if you don't want the little pegs breaking. There we go, that side slipped out. And from here, there's this little gasket. So we're gonna leave that. And I do believe Yes, okay, so we do need to take out that screw, and all that screw is doing is holding that wire taut. So I'm going to unscrew it, so that way we can snake the wire around it, just like so. There we go, so now we can just leave the power, uh, power mirror hanging just like that. I'm gonna put the screw down here with the rest of them, and from here, we are almost done already. Now the, the manual does say that there's a little clip here that you can take out 
Um, I was not having success in taking out the clip. Um, so just like that. Okay, it comes out, yeah. So I just pried up on that there. There's a little clip on that side. And this side just slides over. And the rest of it should pop out here. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about doing this non-destructively because I'm replacing it with a brand new weather shipping. But if you're going to reuse yours because you just need to get in here to do something, then uh, just be more careful than I'm being. I'm being, trying to be careful not to scratch the paint under here. But it might be scratched anyway. Okay, so it just comes out. There we go. You just start from the rear and you work your way forward. Yeah, just like so. There we go. It came out the rest of the way. Now that is pretty dirty and it's wet as well all the way down which means that it was leaking through a little bit and if we see underneath here it is very very dirty so I do have um, a rag or microfiber cloth and some soapy water I'm just gonna spray on the rag here I don't want to spray directly into there because this is just gonna send water down and basically I'm just gonna clean this all out just that way it's starting fresh I'm gonna have this open I might as well I mean, that's pretty dirty so I'm actually gonna use a different spot of the re the towel now I'm gonna keep it going there we go And I'm also just going to clean up this bit here where the gasket meets because that's a little dirty as well. That got pretty dirty. Looks like a, a shell of a beetle or something. I mean, you find a lot of things in your car when you're cleaning it. So. You know, it's exposed to the elements, so you can expect these kind of things to happen. All right, so that's good. We have our brand new one right here. It has the brand new clip already attached to it, so I don't have to worry about reusing an old clip or something, because they usually break when you're taking them out. Um, so I'm just gonna basically just go start at the clip. Actually, I'll start on this end. Just get it partly on, not all the way yet. Get the clip installed, it'll snap. And I just press down the whole length and you'll hear it snap. And from there, now the window there's no gap between this bit here and the rest of the window and it is perfectly now actually rubbing there there we go and that is that the rest of the assembly is just reverse of what I did to disassemble it I just put this back in and then I put all the screws back where they were just get it tight so that way the gasket is nicely compressed and it won't uh, leak at all anyways that's it for now i'll see you next time